In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, welcome to Lingreacher, and I am Zafar Bas. And today's uh, topic for the video is Poetic Justice, and that is Literary Device. And uh, subtopic is Poetic Justice in Doll's House. And discussions are in English. And this video, video is related to literary devices, doll's house, drama, and uh, to the literature. And please subscribe my channel, Lingrature, if you find the videos helpful. And share the videos with your friends. And do subscribe my channel. And if you have some uh, feedback, if you have some query, if you want some videos to be uplo uploaded on YouTube, then please comment. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the videos and share the videos to the friends. And now let's move towards our topic and that is just going to be uh, poetic justice. And meting out reward and punishment at the conclusion of drama which satisfies our expectations by confirming moral and ethical ideals and uh, meting out mean distribution and simply we can say distribution of reward and punishment at the conclusion of the drama so what is uh, uh, poetic justice poetic justice is that uh, at the end of the drama the playwright or the writer just gives reward or punishment to the characters and which is just going to satis satisfy our expectations because we are just concerned about the moral and ethical ideals because if a bad person is there then he is just uh, he or she is just going to be punished punished by the writer and if the character is just going to be the good so he can get the reward so that is just uh, poetic justice and in simple words we can say hero is rewarded and villain is punished in poetic justice and uh, now another important thing is that you'll just uh, the things would be just more clear when you just have a look at the melodrama and tra tra tragedy okay and in melodrama characters with poetic justice a melodrama deals with poetic justice good characters are rewarded and bad characters are punished at the end of the drama and what is melodrama? Melodrama relies on sensational happenings, violent action, and improbable events. And in tragedy, uh, tra or tragedy deals with characters who are good but not perfect. In tragedy, tragic fate does not obey ideals of poetic justice, and divine justice is just used instead. And um, in tragedy, the characters can be good, but it is not necessary that they will just get reward. They can also be punished and uh, they can be punished uh, by the divine. Then we can say divine justice. And uh, what is tragedy? Tragedy relies on downfall of protagonists, ruthless conflicts, tragic fate of the people. Tragedy brings pity and terror in the audience and resolved by catharsis at the play's climax. So, from these discussions that if a good character is there, then it is just going to get the better uh, the rewards or if it is bad character, then it is just going to be punished by the writer at the end of the drama. If it is happening there, then it means that the writer is just going to use uh, poetic justice as a literary, uh, literary device in that drama. Okay, and now we are just going to have a look at this question. Does the play Doll's House go with the poetic justice? The answer is simple. Yes. Why? I'm just going to justify it with the help of these uh, the the three major characters in the in the doll, doll's house. Uh, firstly, we should have a look at the, that that Crockston and 
the crowd status kicked off from his job because he planned to disclose Nora's secret of loan and forgery and is punished at the end of the play for his wise thinking because he was not thinking properly uh, for for Nora and so that's why Ibsen just kicked him off from his job which he was just doing at the, at, uh, at the bank and now let's uh, let's see because Krogstad was uh, just had some ill feelings so that's why he just uh, was punished at the end of the drama and now here here we can see uh, the the character of Torvald Tor Torvald is protective and possessive to his wife Nora and uh, uh, um, he was just protective and possessive with, uh, with his, uh, to his wife Nora and does not allow much rights to his wife. Under pressure of the society of that time, Torvald does not allow his wife to take financial decisions. Torvald is egoist and wants to remain dominant over his wife. He is uh, punished by doing so. How he is punished? He is punished because he, uh, his wife left him at the end of the trauma because uh, he was not uh, what he was doing he was protective he was possessive and uh, uh, according to um, uh, under the pressure of the society he was not allow allowing her uh, his wife to take financial decisions and he was egoist and all these qualities are not uh, good quality so that's why he was he was punished in uh, in the drama at the end of the drama and um, uh, uh, his wife left him so he had ill feelings so he was punished and Nora Nora uh, no let's see this character Nora protagonist of the play develops her character during the play after sincere service to the family and husband and husband, she is unable to get enough space and freedom. She is, be, uh, she is being protagonist, gets reward of the freedom by leaving her family. Because in, his, in her family, she was not uh, allowed to, to get basic rights. Even she was not allowed to take a single, uh, single macaron. And she was not allowed to spend money and uh, her husband was not just going to listen to to her so um, but she was she just remained sincere to uh, to her family and to her husband and at at the end of the drama ibsen rewarded her with freedom because she she just um, uh, banged that that door and she just left her home uh, and and her family so conclusion is uh, what is conclusion for all above discussions we can uh, we can safely say that every character is rewarded and punished for vices and virtues they own if some choose to take justice uh, as a literary device in the play doll's house so uh, guys, this was the video and this was the Poetic Justice and Poetic Justice in uh, Doll's House by Ibsen uh, and uh, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, please like the video and share this video to, to your friends and subscribe my channel Link Rachel. and until the next video, bye bye.